In our previous episode, we explored the invention of Portland cement by Joseph Aspton, a breakthrough that revolutionized construction. Today, we shift from the building blocks of our structures to the veins that connect our cities, the roads. We'll delve into the world of John McAdam, whose 1820 innovation in road construction, the McAdam Roads, brought about a fundamental change in how roads were made and maintained. McAdam's technique, focusing on drainage and layered stones, not only improved road durability but also shaped the future of transportation infrastructure. Join us as we uncover the legacy of John McAdam and how his work laid the groundwork for the modern world's connectivity. John Loudon McAdam was born in Eyre, Scotland, on September 21, 1756, into a family with a strong interest in the emerging field of road construction. This was a time when the infrastructure in Britain, particularly roadways, was in dire need of improvement to accommodate the burgeoning demands of the Industrial Revolution. Despite his significant contributions to civil engineering and road construction, detailed records of McAdam's early education are scarce. It is known, however, that he left school at the age of 14 and moved to New York in 1770. There, he joined his uncle's business, and the experience he gained in America, where he observed and engaged with the mercantile and land development sectors, would later influence his approaches to road construction and management. In 1778, with the outbreak of the American War of Independence, McAdam returned to Scotland. He acquired a position as the agent for the Ayrshire estate of the Earl of March, which provided him with a stable income and the opportunity to focus on his burgeoning interest in road construction. During this period, he married and started a family, although personal details about his family life are not as prominently documented as his professional achievements. Before revolutionizing road construction, McAdam's life was marked by a series of entrepreneurial ventures and a growing interest in public works. He was involved in various businesses and was keenly interested in improving the infrastructure of his country, which at the time suffered from poorly maintained and inefficient roads. His critical observation and dissatisfaction with the state of British roads led McAdam to develop a new method for road construction. He advocated for systematic, scientific approaches to building and maintaining roads, emphasizing the importance of proper drainage and the use of layered aggregates to create a stable, durable road surface. McAdam's life before his invention was characterized by a blend of business acumen and a keen interest in practical solutions to the infrastructural challenges of his time, setting the stage for his lasting impact on civil engineering and transportation. His invention, known as the McAdam Road Surface, laid the foundation for modern road construction and has left a lasting impact on the development of highways around the world. McAdam's method was a systematic approach to building roads that differed significantly from previous techniques. Prior to McAdam, roads were often constructed by laying large stones as a foundation, which were difficult to keep in place and provided an uneven and uncomfortable ride. McAdam introduced the idea of using layers of small, broken stones to construct roads, a method that ensured a more stable and durable surface. Roads were built in layers, with each layer consisting of stones of a specific size, compacted tightly together. The bottom layer comprised larger stones, covered by smaller stones in the middle layer, and finally, the surface layer consisted of fine gravel. Each layer was compacted before the next was applied, creating a firm, stable roadbed. McAdam emphasized the importance of effective drainage to prevent water from weakening the road structure. He advocated for roads to be raised above the surrounding terrain to facilitate water runoff, reducing the risk of water damage. Only stones that would compact under traffic were used, avoiding large rocks that could protrude through the surface. This selection ensured a smoother, more durable surface that required less maintenance. The innovation of this method lay in its simplicity, effectiveness, and the use of widely available materials. It was a departure from the costly and less durable road construction methods of the past. Here are a few reasons why his invention was so revolutionary. McAdam's technique significantly reduced the cost of road construction and maintenance. By utilizing local stones and requiring less skilled labor, his method made road building more accessible and affordable. 
The compacted layers of stones provided a more durable surface that was less susceptible to ruts and potholes, offering a smoother ride for vehicles. This increased the longevity of roads and reduced the frequency of repairs. The Macadam method could be applied in various terrains and climates, making it suitable for the expanding road networks of the industrializing world. Macadam's principles of road layering and drainage continue to influence modern road construction techniques. Today's asphalt roads, for example, incorporate the concept of layered construction for durability and longevity. The invention of the Macadam Road surface significantly transformed the landscape of transportation and infrastructure during his time and laid the groundwork for future innovations in road construction. The impact of his invention during the early 19th century and its subsequent influence on later developments can be explored through several key areas. Macadam's method dramatically improved the quality of roads, making them more durable and less prone to becoming impassable mud pits or dusty trails. This advancement made travel and transportation more reliable and efficient, facilitating the movement of goods and people. For the first time, communities became more connected, and markets expanded as goods could be transported over longer distances with greater ease. Better roads were instrumental in supporting the burgeoning industrial revolution. They reduced transportation costs and time, contributing to a more dynamic economy. Businesses could reach wider markets, and raw materials could be moved to factories with unprecedented speed, further fueling industrial growth and economic development. Improved roads under Macadam's system enhanced communication between regions, promoting a greater sense of national unity and facilitating the spread of ideas. They also played a crucial role in the postal service's expansion, making it more efficient and reliable, which had far-reaching social and political implications. Macadam's principles of road construction, emphasizing proper drainage and the use of compacted layers of stones, directly inspired the development of tarmac, tar-penetrated macadam, and, eventually, modern asphalt roads. The introduction of tar as a binding agent for the stones was a direct evolution of macadam's techniques, offering a solution to dust problems and further improving durability. Macadam's work highlighted the importance of systematic, scientific approaches to infrastructure projects, influencing the fields of civil engineering and urban planning. His emphasis on road construction as a discipline requiring careful planning and understanding of materials inspired a more methodical approach to urban development and public works. The success of this road-building method led to its adoption beyond Britain, influencing road construction in Europe, North America, and the colonies. This global spread also meant that his methods were adapted to different climates and conditions, further refining and expanding the principles he introduced. Macadam's work contributed to the standardization of road construction practices, leading to the establishment of guidelines and specifications that could be applied universally. This standardization was crucial for ensuring consistent quality and performance of road networks across different regions. Macadam's work in road construction earned him considerable recognition and respect in professional circles, particularly among engineers and those involved in public works. This recognition was not just limited to the accolades of his peers, it also involved official appointments, such as when he was named Surveyor General of Metropolitan Roads in 1827, a position that put him in charge of road construction in and around London. Despite the widespread adoption of his road construction methods, Macadam's life was not free from professional challenges. He often found himself engaged in disputes over the implementation of his techniques and the quality of road construction by others who claimed to adhere to his principles but did so improperly. This led to a continual need to defend his methods and ensure that they were correctly applied. Interestingly, unlike many inventors whose innovations bring them substantial financial rewards, Macadam did not patent his road construction technique. His approach was a public domain innovation, meant to benefit society at large rather than to generate personal profit. As a result, while his methods became standard practice for road building, Macadam himself did not directly profit from the widespread adoption of his techniques in the same way an inventor today might from a patented technology. However, Macadam's expertise did lead to some financial compensation, 
In recognition of his contributions to road construction and the savings his methods afforded the public purse, the British Parliament granted him £10,000 in 1827, which can be an equivalent of £1.3 million today, a significant sum at the time, as a gesture of national appreciation. This grant was a rare acknowledgement of his work's value to the nation, although it came after years of Macadam advocating for recognition and support. John Loudon Macadam's impact on road construction and his legacy is undeniable, shaping the development of modern transportation infrastructure. Macadam continued to work in the field he had revolutionized, contributing to public works until his death in 1836. In summary, while Macadam's invention had a profound impact on society and the field of civil engineering, its direct impact on his life was mixed. He achieved professional recognition and a measure of financial reward late in his career, but his primary legacy remains the global adoption of his road construction techniques, which continue to influence infrastructure development to this day. McAdams' life and work exemplify a commitment to public service and innovation, prioritizing societal benefit over personal gain. As we conclude our journey from the macadamized roads of John Loudon Macadam to the imminent exploration of Samuel Morse's revolutionary telegraph, we invite you to stay connected with us for more stories of innovation that shaped our world. In our next episode, we'll uncover how Morse's invention brought distant corners of the globe into instant communication, transforming society in ways previously unimaginable. If you've enjoyed this journey through history and innovation, please like, subscribe, and share our series with friends and fellow history enthusiasts. Your support helps us bring these transformative tales to life, tracing the paths of those whose inventions paved the way for the modern world. Stay tuned, and don't miss out on the electrifying story of Samuel Morse and the Telegraph, a tale of persistence, innovation, and the indelible impact of connecting humanity across vast distances.